Hello everybody, it's Zelandus, and I'm going to show you guys how to get to the Jade Cavern. And before even doing this, you're going to have to have the uh, the Golden Quintar, which is this little guy right here. So if you don't have the Golden Quintar, well, you're not going to be able to get to this area. But if you just want to find out how to get there anyways, well, keep watching. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to go to a Mercury shrine using the mercury stone then what we're gonna do is get on the golden quintar we're gonna jump over here jump up here jump across here jump up here glide over here jump up here do some more glidey glideys and then we're gonna come across grand's house we'll go inside here well actually let me uh i'll show you exactly where i'm at i know some people can be really confused so we were just at Mercury Shrine, and we jumped over here and here and here and glided over here, and I know it's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff. And then we're going to go jump down here in the basement. We're going to go down here. There's going to be a boss. He's pretty easy. He's right here. He's only got like 10,000 health or something like that. So uh, by this time, you should definitely be level 50 plus or whatever. Take him out with easy, um, and then you're gonna come down here. And then, uh, yeah, you can access this place from his house, or if you go to the west side, I'm gonna show you a different way to actually get to this place. So there's actually three ways. You can come from the, um, the pyramid. This is underneath the pyramid. Uh, in this place, the ancient, ancient reservoir. It's pretty much right underneath the pyramid. So, and then the other way is through the river system, which I'll show real quick. So this is Jade Cavern. No, go away, go away, go away, you little turd. Oh my gosh. Look what I gotta deal with. Look what I gotta deal with. Okay, let's go up here. This is gonna be the third way to get in here. Um, you guys may have recognized this spot right here. Which is, uh, it's right outside, um, Delendi. This is where, uh, this is the guy that wanted the bones, the kid that wanted the three bones with the dogs. And it's just in this area right here. So that's another way, there's a, there's a few ways. So if you can access this river, like, this river connects to quite a lot of places. But anywho, we're gonna go down here, because this is... Probably taking a little too long. To access this spot, we're gonna have to do a run and jump. I'm gonna glide right here. This is how you get inside to this NPC. I think there is some stuff in here. I can't remember if there is or not. I just want to show you how to get to the NPC. And then we're gonna do a run and jump, and this has to be like almost perfect. Takes a few tries. Sometimes I can get it, no problem. There we go. It's a long jump. And then there's gonna be an NPC right here. And he sells a very, very, very good armor. Now, he's gonna request seals of each class mastery. So if you can get each seal, you bring it to this guy. And there's 24 seals in total, 24 classes. So, um, yeah, once you mastered all of these classes, uh, grab the, uh, go to the, their respective, um, actual master, like, uh, let's say the ninja master, go to the ninja master and he'll give you a seal. And you can take that seal to this guy and he'll give you an armor. Now, I'm going to show you exactly what all the armors do, because I've already collected all of them. 
Alright, um, equipment. Um, and if you guys are probably wondering, like, how I mastered every single class on every single character, well, I have a video on my channel of how to get the best way to get LP. So check out that video, and it'll show you how to get LP like crazy. Like, I'm talking about, like, 8 to 10 LP levels just for one little mob so go watch that video if you want to get a lot of lp anyway let's get to the equipment um or yeah armor so let's see here um no that's no guardian no that's not one of them okay hunters oh actually let me um before i even do that i think i have some equipped all right, so here's the weavers. It's got 50 defense, 200 resistance. Got some some mind. Uh, the best thing about this is never misses physical attack. So that is absolutely awesome. It's light armor. Pretty awesome. I really like the weavers robe. So that's what you get for turning in the weavers. For turning in the clerics, you get a really really good light armor cleric robe. It's got 60 defense, 390 resistance, 60 spear, 35 more healing, 35%. Really nice. Um, yeah, pretty much best in slot for a cleric, that's for sure. And then we got the shamans, which is 60 defense, 160 resistance. It's got mind and spirit, 60, and it's got some lifesteal, so you can swap out your um because usually i run the uh the blood hat for lifesteal with spells so you could definitely take off the blood hat and use the shaman's robe if you want some spell uh life leech great piece of armor and then we got the summoner's robe uh really good because it uh decreases the um the ct cost uh which is uh, really nice if you want to try and whip out that stuff really quick all right now I think yeah I had four already equipped so it wasn't gonna show it in my actual armor uh, hunter's vest is really good because it gives you more accuracy especially if you're using a bow and you get that penal penalty of having minus accuracy this so this hunter's robe actually makes up a, a quite a bit of that you get a lot of your accuracy back so it's perfect definitely perfect for the hunter then we got the assassin's cloak Gives you a lot of dexterity, 50%. Like, damn. Then we got the assassin's vest. This is amazing too, because you can stack up a lot of crit damage. A lot of plus it has that 5% chance of instant kill. Also, each of these um uh, armor pieces gives you the respective appearance so like if you get the assassin you get the assassin appearance it changes your whole entire character's appearance pretty cool and then we got the no man's vest this is absolutely a really OP item because it starts you off with 30 AP at battle start I use this armor all the time to be honest plus it gives you 30 attack and mine like it's, it's got everything you want there's nothing to hate about this armor. The 30 AP at the start of the battle is just absolutely amazing. Wizard's robe, pretty nice. Gives you, I mean, the only good thing about this is uh, you get the uh, the magic um, up 35% more magic damage. I mean, there's some really good competitive robes for, so I don't know, it's not really the best. But Mimic's Mail, another good piece of armor. Um, gives you 10% physical, magical, and healing really good all-around armor especially for heavy armor and you're trying to get some magic damage well here you go <laughs> then oh no that's you get that from uh rexasaur i got a video on that too so if you want to know how to get this go uh defeat rexasaur uh reaper's mail this one's uh pretty good if you want to get power up then we got fencer's vest this one's Decent if you want to swap out a uh, a passive, your dual dual wield passive. So this one I actually give you uh, two more turns. So because the passive only gives you one, this armor gives you two. So it's pretty nice, pretty nice. And then samurai armor gives you more um, AP, so you can stack up more AP. Pretty decent. It's not bad. Ninja's vest. 
Um, I actually haven't really used this that much. Uh, get a buff for one turn or physical hit. Yeah, not really that great. Maybe in some situation. Oh, wait, the evasion might be pretty good if you're trying to make a full evasion build. I guess that'd be decent. Rogues, uh, pretty good piece of armor. You get the attack, you get hand, you get the speed. Pretty good all around armor. Beastmaster's armor. Um, I actually wanted to test out a, uh, a luck damage build. Like, I think there's a, um, a skill that requires a lot of luck. And I think you can use this armor to scale up the damage. So I kind of want to test that out. This might actually be really, really good. So... I'll have to test that in the future. Then we got the Scholar's Robe. Um, this one's nice because if you want to uh, try and get a little bit more defense on your um, your mages, uh, this could be an option for you depending on the situation. Then we got the uh, Chemist's Robe. Um, abilities consume half the items. Huh, I guess it's decent. I actually haven't used this, like, at all. <laughs> so I'm not sure if this is, like, super good or not. Then we got the Dervish Robe. This is pretty good if, if you're only using the Dervish, because he, he would kind of benefit more with this. Um, yeah, decent armor. Beatsmith. Uh, this is not bad if, if you want to um, substitute this with the... Uh, uh, what's that passive called? Pre oh, preemptive strike. So if you want to substitute preemptive strike, you can swap this armor out with it. Uh, Valkyrie's mail. You get a 15% healing permanently per turn. So that's not too bad if you're if you put this on your tank. You don't really have to worry about too many heals. Um, Aegis Mail. Getting AP will also recover X amount of... Uh, you know, I really haven't actually used this. It sounds nice, but I'm never really short of AP, so... This might be good for, like, the longer battles, maybe? I don't know. Warlock. Double cast can be used multiple times during the same turn. This actually sounds really awesome, and I never tried it yet. But I definitely want to give it a give it a, a shot. So haven't messed around with it yet. Warriors mail, uh, fifty percent more threat. And usually stuff is dead before you can even get full threat, so it doesn't matter. Uh, monk's vest. Uh, this one's pretty solid. Get a uh, strength while unarmed plus thirty. Uh, I'm not sure if this is actually. If flat 30 strength is better than flat 30 attack, I'm not exactly sure. I'll have to test that. And then we got... That actually might be it. I think that was all 24 of them. Yep, I think that was it. else here. Yep. That is all the armors and what they do and how they get to the Jade Cavern and what you need to do in order to get the armors. So, if there's anything I missed, you got any questions, um, as far as this room goes, I don't know why there's a room here and why there's a infinite death pool. I don't know. There might be some kind of secret with that or where this exactly goes. I don't know. Just, a uh, Weird room. I thought there would be something in there special. But that's it. And you guys all have a great day.